<laughs> All right. Oh, let's put this like this. All right. Hey guys, welcome to the travel show. Um, glad you joined in again. Today we're gonna have uh, three topics, and the first one is gonna be Belize. So I'm not sure if you guys know where Belize is. It's um, it's I would say not a hotspot in tourism it's not like everyone is going there like uh, thailand or so you know belize is a pretty small country in uh, central america so if we switch into the map here um i have to zoom in so this is central america as you can see i've i've traveled basically this is kind of a gringo trail most tourists are going along this path i've done a few side trips where tourists don't go especially in uh yeah, there's some countries here that are not so safe, <laughs> like El Salvador and uh, Honduras, especially, especially this town here. Um, but this will be another topic. Um, for today, we're going to talk about Belize. It's just um, north of that. Um, but Belize is pretty, pretty safe, I would say. <clears throat> and uh, the cool thing about Belize is um, you have a, a really nice island close by. So it's called K Corker, and this is basically what I want to show you today. Um, it's a really tiny island actually, and uh, there's like a little split. It's actually called the split in the middle. There's a little backstory for that. You will see some, some of my pictures later um, from that spot. It's actually one of the coolest spots on the island. And um, just to give you some backstory on how that split developed. Um, basically, if I'm not, like, this is what I was told, yeah? I'm not sure if it's correct, but apparently the US military at some point when they occupied this or so i don't know exactly the backstory but <laughs> they basically dug out a meter wide channel here by hand so just a tiny part maybe the size of the font now here so they dug it out because they were too lazy when they have a boat let's say they're a fisherman and they go fishing here and their house is here right <clears throat> they would have to go all, or, all around and they were too lazy so they dug a little channel and over time and from the hurricanes that channel opened up even uh, more until you got the split that you see nowadays and the split is um so nowadays a spot where people just chill out i will show you pictures i uh, will see you later um yeah i think um we can we can jump right into the the yeah the pictures so i'll put you to the full screen <clears throat> so this is the first one um apologies for the quality of the pictures um some of them are super edited and back in the days that trip is uh let's see how old is it 2014 um so six years ago uh when I started with photography, uh, I certainly overdone the editing part. Nowadays, I don't, I basically don't edit at all anymore because I'm selling my pictures. And when you sell pictures, you want to give them the kind of uh, yeah, raw format of it. Uh, but back then I was uh, playing a, a bit too much around with the contrast and stuff. But anyway, back to Belize. So this is our tour guide. We, we basically had a little uh, a sailing boat, a really old one with broken holes in the sail i'm not sure oh yeah you can see it here so <laughs> if you look at that sail <laughs> i actually didn't notice when i was doing the trip right um i just noticed uh when i selected the pictures for the travel show now um and then i was like wow there's a lot of patches on this sail uh <laughs> doesn't look that safe actually <laughs> when i look at it now but um yeah as you can see i didn't really bother at the time um so you get out um, into the ocean um, and I was doing it with uh, three others, uh, some random people that I met in the hostel where I was staying. And um, what one thing you can do is here, you can, um, so those are uh, dolphins. Dolphins are everywhere. So I don't sure, it, it took like a minute and then we saw the dolphins. So they just follow the boat, but um, the main attraction are the sharks here. So you basically can swim with these sharks and they're they're super harmless. It, it's a nurse sharks. Um, so they're like, you don't have to be afraid that they are gonna bite you or something. And uh, it's like a kind of a touristic thing to jump into the water and, and snorkel with them. And that's pretty cool. Um, so of course we were doing that and that's like the main, the main purpose of the tour. Um, 
My eyes look really blue on this picture. Sometimes my eye color changes a little bit, I think. But as you can see, the, the sharks are all around and uh, the first guy is already in the boat and they put like a little bit of, like they, they lure them in with some food, as usual. Um, those are some pictures from my first GoPro. I think it was a GoPro 2 at, or a Chinese version of it. I can't remember exactly. Um, part of the Caribbean, yeah. <laughs> And you can see lots of turtles, so it's a really cool, um, like, wildlife underwater there. And while you're swimming, the, the boat captain, he's preparing the food. I forgot the name of that thingy there. It's uh, You dip it in with some tortilla chips. Um, and that was all included in the trip, so you got the food. And afterwards, on the way back, we had all you can uh, drink, basically, uh, Cuba Libre. Nice turtle color. Yo, indeed. Um, those are similar... Boats, uh, as, uh, I think this one, there's only one person, maybe the rest is underwater. But on the right side, that's definitely like a similar tool as ours. So they're just swimming with the, um, I'm not sure if this is the shark point because I remember we didn't have any other boats around us, but there's different areas where you can jump in the water. And the weather actually got quite bad at some point. Um, you can see the first dark clouds coming in. I think they had some problems with their boat. Uh, that whole thing collapsed afterwards. <laughs> but uh, it looks much better than our sail, that's for sure. Um, this is another picture with the GoPro when they started to give us the drinks. And that's all you can drink. So on the way back, I think it was like a, a two and a half hour sail or so you could drink as much as you can possibly drink basically and it's just constantly refilling it and you know rum on the island is super super cheap so a bottle like that i think in the supermarket it costs around maybe 1.5 euros or two dollars for the full bottle so it's not like in Germany or so where you have to pay like 15 euros for a, a nice bottle of rum. And it's super nice, quality. like it's really, really nice rum. It's locally produced. That's why it's so cheap. Um, that's me in the same position, just slightly drunk. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see a difference in my face there, but... And also in the back, I'm uh, half uh, jumping out the boat. But that what that's basically the result of uh, getting free alcohol. Um... Oh yeah, that's uh, the food. I forgot the name. Is it an Easter Ely dish? I'm not sure, but it's like a really nice salad. Um, it's really fresh. There's some onions in there and some lime, I think, and or lemon or something. I don't know, but it, it was really, really tasty. Does anyone know the name of this dish? Uh, please let me know if you do. Um, I have a video in the very end as well where you can see some more footage from the underwater stuff with the sharks. But this is back on K Corker now. Um, it's a really nice... Uh, island as you can see uh, but um there's one specific thing here there's there are no cars allowed and everything is going very very slow so um you won't see anyone rushing or running like actually when we when i arrived the first days i was just walking my normal pace which is not well probably it's quite fast you know like you know kind of city pace uh, but People, they were kind of talking to me, say, hey, dude, slow down, man. Uh, so everyone has to be kind of relaxed there. Uh, <laughs> go slow. That's the that's the motto of the island. And if somebody is like somehow in a rush, somebody will come to him and calm him down. You know, you maybe you get something to smoke. <laughs> but um, they have ways to relax you as well. Um, and everything is just super chilled out and relaxed um and as i said no no cars it's only bikes and these uh, gol golf caddies is that how you call it you know from the golfers and this is the split so when you remember when i showed you the map um just behind that hut that's where they have the split now um and this is a pet picture from one side and you can see that it's not that far you could swim to the other side uh, I was actually doing that. You just have to be in the middle. You have to swim a bit stronger, right? It's There's a bit of a current. Um, you can actually see there's some signs saying no swimming, I guess. But anyway, um, uh, that's another panorama picture. And yeah, so initially there was just a super tiny channel that people were digging by hand. And through the hurricanes, it opened up to what they now call the split. 
Look at the background. It looks like these uh, trees are floating huh? in the air. Yeah, and nowadays people are just chilling out there. And yeah, this is how a street looks. So this is one of the golf, golf caddies that I was referring to. And I think this is my last picture. I think now we have the video. Yep. Let's have a look. I'm just going to skip through it. I just want to show you like uh, some of the underwater stuff, basically. Because the whole video is 10 minutes. And that's too long. <laughs> I can show you more later if you want. But it's also up on my YouTube channel. That's my old GoPro. Yeah, with a self-made security line. What's the name again? Mitchell Rock. Mitchell Rock. And yeah, so I think I'll just jump in now and I'll see you later. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm not sure if the music is too loud, guys, let me know. Oh, yeah. You have like... Uh, I wish I would have a better quality camera, but it was six years ago, so the GoPros, they were just not that great at the time. Oh, I have to get a new GoPro for my next trip as well, actually. It also looks really hectic. Somehow, when I was editing it, it, it was kind of making it faster. I don't know why. All right, is there anything else worthwhile in here? Ah, that was the drinking. Ah, that's me being drunk, I think. I don't know what I'm talking about there. Ah, that's a split. That's how the split looks like. You could swim over if you wanted to. Yeah, and I think... That concludes the first part. Belize, I hope you like that. Um, let me know if you have any questions. We can stick around a bit further. I can actually show you some more of the video if you want, um, but I'm going to cut it here for YouTube. So see you around for the next